I'm Katja Williams, The Rural Mum, and today we're talking what's in my toolbox. It's really important that those rural mums out there have not only the work tools that you would be using on farm, but also a toolkit that you have that stays at home and around the place for you to do jobs that you need to get done. So today I've just pulled mine out of the shed and we're just going to go through it. So um, to start with, you just get yourself a plain toolbox from whichever hardware store you usually visit, whether that's Mitre 10 or Bunnings or, or whatever's closest to you. Um, in my top tray is the tools that I probably use the most um, and some safety equipment as well. So I always keep a spare backup pair of glasses. Um, I keep them in the plastic as long as I can. Um, got my tinted ones for when it's sunny. I always keep super glue and things like that in my toolbox as well. I keep it in my toolbox in the carport so that my kids aren't near it. Um, pliers, screwdriver, lots of different heads for any toys or little bits and pieces and not normal screw settings that in random things you have around the house. So that always helps. Um, and I always keep a paintbrush either for painting top ups or uh, for dusting as well. Um, my toolbox and tools are red. So that is makes them stand out on farm. Uh, most of the other farm tools are not that color. So if I see a red pair of pliers down the paddock or in someone else's toolbox, chances are they're mine. <laughs> um, so you also want things like little saws. They're great around the garden. WD-40, mini crowbar. Um, and hex key set. It's uh, actually amazing what around the house needs a hex set, um, including some of the boys' beds and things like that. Um, I've got scissors, hammer. Hammers go missing quite regularly, the same as this little guy. So these are new. I've had to go to town to buy new ones because uh, mine disappeared and haven't come back. Um, so uh, I haven't gone as in far as engraving my tools, but I hear in some of the comment sections below, particularly on uh, Instagram, our following, we've got quite a few mums who have taken to engraving their own tools. So kudos to them, whichever works and gets it to come back. Um, measuring tape is always handy as well. I keep duct tape in mine and then a lot of other random bits and pieces. I might just do a little scan of that later. Uh, but they are the most used tools in my toolbox. It's worth having whether it's, you know, something's broken in the house and it needs fixing. Sometimes if we are waiting for someone else to do those jobs for us, they just don't get done um, or they don't get done within a timely manner. And we don't want to be constantly having to remind someone, can you please do that? Can you please do that? So have some independence, grab some tools. Uh, you can always learn what you need either by talking to um, your significant other, uh, friends and family, other rural mums or YouTube if you need any other how to do videos YouTube's fantastic for those usually you just type it in go for the search watch a few seconds and you can give it a go yourself so I hope that you enjoyed today's short video what's in your toolbox let me know what's in your toolbox if there's any other must-haves that I don't have or that you find that you use on a regular basis and if videos on um, farming tips, tricks, hacks, particularly mum hacks, if that's something that you're interested in or if you've married a farmer, or you're about to marry a farmer, we do a lot of content on this channel in regards to that. So hit the like and subscribe button and we'll see you in more videos in the future. Thank you for being here with us today for this short little video, What's in My Toolbox. Mm -hmm.